folks, before I start today's rather less optimistic topic of conversation, I do have some good news. Our first limited edition drop on the domain marketplace, the Mega Schism, is selling really, really well, and I cannot thank you guys enough for so much support. And just as this video airs, I have listed a ton of original mega blocks and some mega constructs on that website. I'm gonna try and offer as much worldwide shipping as possible, but I've gotta calculate a lot of shipping rates worldwide. It is quite complicated. But you can check out my full list of all my mega blocks that I have for sale right now. This is just a test drop on the website that I'm gonna go traveling for a few weeks, but once I get back, I'm gonna have so much more. All right, without further ado, let's check out this video. I mean, whew, I don't look like I'm I'm the happiest right now. What's this guy got to say? I don't think anything good. All right, folks, this is not a video I want to make, and it's not a video you want to watch, but I think we are finally at the point where we have to take a step back and ask the big question. Is Halo Mega okay? Because all signs, to me, seem to be trending in the wrong direction. And these are issues that I feel are wholly avoidable. The continuation of Halo Mega, I think, should be a guarantee, something that is not even debated, but obviously will be, and something that, as I've said before, means so much to so many, right? Halo Mega have come out with some of the best, in my opinion, sets of all time this year. The Halo Multiplayer Mayhem, you've never seen better paint apps on any set ever. The Fleet Com Mongoose, say what you want about the Halo TV show, but they are Halo Hero level paint the coals. And probably the best Warthog we've ever got. The UNSC Arctic Burn Wasp, did we need another wasp? No, not really, but I have been so surprised at how much fun I had putting this together. It is an exceptional build. Hello. We got a buildable 343 Guilty Spark, something that I could have never dreamed about when I was young, yet it seems to have just sort of uh, been forgotten about, even like the uh, Guilty Spark video I made barely got a thousand views, like people uh, didn't seem that inspired by it, and I am uh, the brand ambassador for Mega, which is a loose title which changes all the time, but the basis of it is that I'm meant to be a voice, <laughs> Guilty Spark is just humming away in the background, um, I'm meant to be a voice to the community, I'm meant to be able to say to Mega what the community's concerns are and try and direct them, uh, you know, in the right direction with this brand. And there is obviously a massive focus on Halo. I'm meant to be the brand ambassador for all of Mega's brands and IPs, and I love the new Pokemon stuff. I just built the Mega Motion Eevee for Mega's Instagram, and it is an exceptional build. But obviously Halo is my bread and butter, and it's where I make my stand. And um, <clears throat> I've always, you know, had to toe the line over the last year because I've known a lot more about the Halo line than uh, the public have because I've been shown prototypes a year before they've come out. Um, but I'm at the point now where I've not seen anything that anybody else uh, hasn't seen, right? Like, I don't know um, of any new products that are coming out. I am not saying by any means that there are no new products coming out, but I don't know of any. Um, which is the thing that causes me by far the most concern. So I feel like my my opinion on like what I can say as the brand ambassador is shifting because I don't know any more than you guys do. And now I'm in pure speculation mode as well. Um, my communication with Mega, you know, Mega still give me a lot of transparency and I do thank them for that. And they are um, currently, like I'm contracted right now to make some videos for their Instagram. And we got some really good ones coming out, a load of the Halo sets and Pokemon sets and they're some of my best work. I've really enjoyed making them. Uh, so, you know, Mega has supported me with that, but past that, um, there is, there is so much uh, that I don't know about the future of Halo Mega. And unfortunately, um, communication has kind of broken down about that. I just don't know any more than you do. Um, so that's why I'm recording this video today because um, what I need very much for like my own sanity, for um, the collective uh, effort of this community, you know, there are thousands and thousands of people that um, adore this brand. Um, but unfortunately I'm seeing a lot of them falling off, 
um, I think. And I've received a lot of messages over the last week saying, hey, I heard a rumor that Halo Mega has been canceled. That rumor is baseless. There's no actual evidence of that. I think it's more just the fact that people are starting to assume the worst. Um, and honestly, that's what I'm doing. Uh, even though I have good communication with Mega, um, I can't, I can't know for certain what's happening with the Halo Mega line. Um, and that is so concerning to me because, you know, you've heard this from me many times before, but, um, you know, I've made over 1500 videos for this channel. I've collected this brand for 15 years. I've made videos for 12 and a half years. To me, there is nothing really past my friends and family that matters more to me in life. And also like my business is based around this. My, my entire livelihood is based around this brand. Um, I'm launching in the next um, week or so, a brand new website where I can sell Halo Mega and have these really incredible drops. Uh, this is just a prototype of the image. This is not the final one, but this is our first ever drop. A production run of 200. They're all going to be numbered with a certificate of authenticity. This is the Mega Schism designed by Halo Bricks on Instagram, and it's going to go live alongside the first of my Halo Mega Blocks collectible stickers designed by an incredible artist. And, you know, I'm going to be launching this website and I got really exciting plans for it. Um, but it's not like what's the point if Halo Mega's canceled because um, I firmly believe that if Halo Mega is canceled, which I swear, I like, it, there's no need <laughs> if it actually got canceled, which again, I don't have any evidence of, but if it actually got canceled, it's like, why? And I'll, I'll get into that. But um, I got lots of exciting plans with this website and I firmly just fundamentally believe that this community won't go anywhere. We're, uh, we've got a really good team archiving all of the old Halo Mega sets now, a really amazing team. And if you want to join in on the effort of archiving all these projects, if you have any assets or like complete databases, please do share uh, with us. Um, but I don't believe this community will ever go anywhere, but this community will dwindle in numbers and is probably dwindling right now in numbers because we just don't know anything, right? Like, um, the fact of the matter is, and this is not insider information by any stretch of the imagination, I am only going to talk right now about what has already been presented to the community, what knowledge, what information you can already find online. Um, there are many sets um, and many action figures, many Halo Megablox figures that um, prototypes have been leaked months and months ago, like six months ago, and they haven't been released. And the prototypes were leaked at the same time as the Wasp was released, and the Wasp is out, and there is no news of any others. There are no new leaks of anything going forward. I mean, there are a lot of figures that maybe will find their home somewhere, and like, Kevin at Mega has been transparent in the past that, like, um, it, they're kind of in just, like, a advertise, announce, and ship it when it becomes available mentality now. I think they are moving away from spring and, um, and fall seasons, which is probably for the best because, like, delays in China shipping can be, uh, you know, crazy sometimes. So, like, maybe there's some new Halo Mega that's uh, on its way, but the point of this video is um, I am not, with any clear conscience whatsoever, gonna stand by and if the Halo Mega line ends up being canceled, just saying, oh, I guess I was kind of uh, on the money with the fact that, you know, there'd been no new product releases. Oops, I guess it's gone now. I wanna be preemptive, right? And um, I don't have the craziest amount of time. In three weeks, I'm flying to Seattle for the Halo Championship Series. Um, I'm currently busy moving all of my collection into storage um, and getting a new apartment. And then I'm moving into that apartment uh, when I get back from my travels. So I'm going to be taking a bit of time away from this channel, but I'm going to schedule videos to cover that time. Um, but I'm just starting the conversation now where, for me, um, Mega just needs to say anything about the Halo line, just say, yep, we got the contract, we got the license, it's going into next year, we can't confirm any details right now, but you will get products next year. Just say something, because we just got the Halo 2 character pack in this beautiful bag. Look how amazing it looks. I mean, these are some of the best figures we have ever got. 
Like this, um, where's my absolute favorite? Look at this figure. Look at this figure. Like, isn't that the, where is the focus? <laughs> isn't that the most insane action figure Mega's probably ever made? Um, and the Halo 2 character pack seems to be selling really, really well. Um, in the first 24 hours, it sold over a thousand units and it was one of the number one uh, best-selling construction toys and one of the number one toys. Um, even in its second run, it sold, I think, over a thousand in 24 hours or 48 hours. It's selling really well. <sighs> There's so many things um, that Halo Mega needs to do differently if they want to survive, and I have a lot of opinions on that. Um, I don't know how much my opinions would ever actually make a difference, but I'm going to be voicing them over the next couple of weeks anyway. I'm going to have a follow-up to this video and then probably another follow-up um, and I'm just going to say my piece um, because I need to, because I've made these videos for so long and because I've been with this brand for so long and not even that. I mean, I always say those things like it's about me. It's never about me. It's about thousands and thousands of people that find home in this community, that find a purpose, that find a safe place online. The internet is more dangerous than ever before. And being able to have social safety nets of this like just weird little niche construction toy that you find a home in is super super important right like if you buy this at a store and you're a kid and like maybe i don't know i'm just gonna give a scenario maybe you have um difficulty socializing or maybe you um are being bullied at school or like any number of issues that could face you as a child or a teenager or a young adult i know people who uh, just like work in grocery stores and you know feel a bit isolated in day-to-day -day life but find some like warmth and home in this community and there are just tens of thousands of people out there that have been touched by this brand for so many years. And if Halo Mega gets canceled, do it in a most explosive, incredible way. Just don't go out in a whimper. Like, I get it, right? That um, Mega took a gamble. We know that um, Halo Mega sort of plan out their catalog, their line. They can plan new toys a year, a year and a half in advance. So they took a gamble and they thought, season one of the Halo TV show, the numbers on Paramount were really strong. It's activating a new audience, even if, you know, general Halo fans don't like it. And season two looks like it might reactivate the Halo fan base. It might take a new direction. So they, they put their eggs in that basket and they did a Halo TV show line. And that was the whole spring line, along with like Fleetcom, Warthog and Mongoose. And yeah, the blind bags have been continued. And I don't mind that because we just need to release those blind bags as much as possible until everybody has them. But this, uh, you know, the Halo TV show line, it released as season two came out and then got canned. So that was a bad move, you know? that I I don't, you know, I commemorate them for it. It's it's a bold play. Um, but then it was like, okay, what's next? Well, we're going to, and again, it's like, I don't talk about leaks on this channel, but if you have seen leaks, you know that a lot of the sets that were leaked focused on Halo Infinite multiplayer. And that's what you can clearly see with this Wasp. It's focused entirely on Halo Infinite multiplayer. There was a DLC in some of the boxes for this coating in game. All of the Spartans in that box were based on coatings in game. It's a Halo Infinite wave because they thought, hey, we're making these sets a year, a year and a half in advance and look at the trajectory that Halo Infinite's going on. They probably planned these. Like when I went to the mega office in July, um, what squad battles was just being released and Halo Infinite was actually starting to trend upwards But then 343 Industries Microsoft whoever you want to say totally 99% abandoned the game and dropped seasons and made them into operations and stripped everything down and Halo Infinite is still getting a lot of good updates But it's just too little too late and the fan base isn't returning. So you've now made uh, Halo Infinite based figures and sets, which I've seen the, you know, the comments online about the UNSC Wasp, great figures, but like people just want Covenant. They want Banished. They want iconic heroes. They don't really just want another Wasp. And that Wasp might have fit into a broader whole concept of what those Halo Infinite sets could have been. They might still come out, but it doesn't look like it right now. Um, so I get that they made some gambles and I get that they lost. Um, and I get that Halo Mega 
might not be viewed by Mattel as an important part of their catalog. I mean, the Xbox 360 was still at STCC, but like I didn't even cover STCC because I don't know. I just, um, I, I had to prioritize other things. Uh, I, I, if I make a video about a Monster High SCCC booth, it ain't going to get any traction and it's only going to generate people complaining about where the Halo is. Um, so I didn't cover it. Um, uh, but, you know, I went to SCCC last year and uh, and they they did have the Floodgate firefight. But maybe I'm just coping. Maybe, I don't know. The point I was trying to get at was um, maybe Microsoft doesn't value Halo Mega right now. Maybe um, Halo toy, may maybe toy sales are down worldwide. Maybe Halo is having a less and less, you know, doing less and less numbers on Steam and Xbox. And maybe we're in a pretty difficult time, but it's not difficult to keep this line going at all. Like I just fundamentally believe it is not difficult. And I believe that Mega have to take a totally new approach to this. And over the next couple of videos, um, you know, I'm going to be releasing others, but the next couple of videos like this, I'm going to be talking about how I think Mega Halo could be saved and how I think Mega needs to totally transform their approach to Halo Mega and revive it and revitalize it and renew it. Um, but it's going to take some time, and uh, this is the first part where I just wanted to uh, say, is this it? Is this genuinely... Um, is this all we have for this year? And is this how Halo Mega goes out? Because I really hope it's not, and I don't want people sounding the alarms just yet. Like, I want to try and get a definitive answer from Mega. And, uh, you know, I want Mega to see this video and I want people to uh, understand the situation we're in. I want to be transparent about the situation we're in. And I want to um, say to you all that um, if Halo Mega was cancelled, which I, I can, I just, I don't think it will be, um, there's every piece of evidence well, not every piece of evidence. There's not much evidence. It's more just like, I don't feel like they'd have any reason to actually cancel it. Maybe maybe slow it down, but it's been such a profitable uh, product in the past. Um, and I believe it can be again that I don't think it's going to, like, I don't think Microsoft is going to expire the license. Like, I don't think it's going to be like that. Um, but right now, um, I just want you to all know that like, if something did happen to the line, I will never abandon this channel for as long as I live. Like maybe the videos would slow down if I got a job, but like, I won't abandon this channel. It's been such an integral part of my life and I owe so much to it. And I owe so much to everyone that has supported this channel. And um, I still think the future is bright, but all I need now is some definitive um, acknowledgement of this issue from Mega because Credit to them. I like, they're a good team. I, I met them in July. I spent a week working with them. Everybody I met was passionate about Mega and a lot of people were passionate about Halo. Um, and people have been designing these Halo toys for 10, 20 years, well, 15 years. And um, there was one fella I, I recorded videos with that, that had been at Mega for 30 years. So the passion is still there. I fundamentally believe that with Mega, but I just need to see something more because we've uh, barely, like, we barely had any even announcements of sets that have been out for a year and a half. Um, and uh, there's, the, it, it's almost, it, like, it just feels like they're sunsetting it. And I think that is 100% avoidable with some um, key actions, which I will go into further in the next video. So thank you all very much for watching. Really uh, hope you made it to the end. If you did, congratulations. If you, if you made it to the end, tell you what, if you made it to the end, I'll, I'll get something for you. Just for, the, just for the cheeky ones that made it to the end, just comment down below saying, 
I made it to the end and then something else, uh, so it doesn't look like you're all just posting the same thing. Say, I made it to the end and then some other comment and I'll draw one of you to win this uh, HCS, this Halo Championship Series London Major poster and I'll ship it to you free of charge. So just comment down below saying, I made it to the end and then something, whatever you want to comment. All right, uh, this has been Halo Boy. Shout out to you all, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Long live Halo Mega. I genuinely feel like uh, we are going to get through this um, but I need definitive action now. The store's coming soon. It might come this week. We'll see. Um, and we're going to have some really exciting things with that. All right. Peace out.